Like the rest of you, I am stuck home with a bunch of bored kids. So I built a couple things this week to get them moving. But before we get to that, it's time for a make or break. Hey guys, welcome back to Make or Break, where we share our favorite maker videos of the week. Then we challenge ourselves to build a project of our own. I'm Rob. My co-host Sarah, of course, is at home like a lot of people. Good news is if you're missing her, then you'll be able to catch her new show right here on Belts and Boxes called Sarah's Top 5 DIY starting this week. For now, let's get to our favorite maker videos of the week. To get us started today, we head over to visit the pneumatic addict who needs a bit of support for her work. Now going out of her way to just use a circular saw and a couple drills, she designs and builds a pair of wooden saw horses with enough stability to stand up to her patented kick test. If you need some portable workspace and you're working on a budget, this is a great solution. David over at Make Something shared a great project for you to do with your kids. Using a tree cookie, a handful of nails and some string, David builds a work of string art outlining his hand to make it his own. This is an easy project you can do yourself or better yet, get your kids involved. We have several downed trees on our property that I've been ignoring. Looks like it's time to make some cookies. This week while browsing for maker videos, we stumbled upon Jack Rowe Renovation, who has only been making videos for two months and already has some really unique projects. The one that caught our eye was this desk lamp made from PVC pipe, some scrap wood, and a really cool Edison bulb. There's not a lot of verbal instruction here, but he shows you every step. That should make it easy enough for you to pull off on your own. If you hurry, you can be one of his first 100 subs a lot of makers have been publishing unique content to help us make it through quarantine. And yesterday, some of our favorites got together to make the world's first online maker fest. Our tech is hosting a full schedule, both yesterday and today, of live streaming makers doing awesome maker things. Some of the amazing makers you'll see include Paul Jackman, Ann Briggs, that's Anne of All Trades, and even Jimmy DiResta. There are a ton more, you won't wanna miss it, and it's going on right now. You can find it at ArborTech on YouTube, and of course, we'll put a link in the description. My wife's been hounding me to build some raised garden beds ever since we got out to our new property, and I think I finally found the plans. Aaron from Maker Gray posted this build of a very simple, easy to build, but perfectly beautiful raised garden bed. She uses six inch cedar decking boards, so they're already prepared for outdoor use. I have a lot of deer, so probably need to build a fence, but other than that, these are perfect. Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, several of our Meet a Maker contributors have been understandably held up. So we won't have an interview this week, but starting next week, we have six different makers lined up that you won't want to miss. So before we get to our project, you should probably hit the subscribe button. So this week's build. Just like a lot of you, I have a couple kids who are getting stir crazy and spending way too much time with their faces buried in screens. So for the next two weeks, I'm going to share a few ultra simple projects that any of you can do with minimal tools and materials to help keep your kids busy at the same time. This week, I aim to get them moving. I'm not gonna say my kids are driving me nuts, but yeah, nuts. Fortunately, I got an idea. This week, I looked for two simple projects that would get me in the shop and get the kids outside. First up, a simple set of stilts. All right, so these were super easy to make. I started off with two two by twos and a scrap of two by four. I cut the two by twos down to 60 inches, aiming to make them at least a foot taller than both my kids. Then I cut the 2x4s into two 6 inch pieces which we'll use as the pegs. To make sure they didn't split, I pre-drilled three holes in each one and then used 3 inch screws to hold them together. That's it. Seriously. After that I just had to teach Kaylee how to use them. I was surprised by how much fun she had. For the next couple days she kept at it and taught her little brother as well. Alright, project number 2. My kids mentioned they missed these small sitting scooters that they play with at school, so I figured I'd take a shot at making one. To do so, I simply cut a square piece off a 2x12, sanded it down, and then screwed on a set of casters and a pair of drawer handles. The reality is these casters are not cheap, $16 in all. So I'm not sure this is a better option than the $17 plastic scooter that's much lighter and larger that you can just pick up on Amazon. But if you have the materials lying around like I did, it still might make sense. While both of the projects work great, next week I have two new projects planned that are focused on getting them to sit down. If you found any ideas that are good for keeping your kids busy, let me know about them in the comments below. And if you miss Sarah as much as I do, as I mentioned before, you can see her brand new series, Sarah's Top 5 DIY. I'll include a link at the end of the video. Huge thank you to Hart for sponsoring this episode and helping us keep our show going during these unsettling times. As for the rest of you, stay home. 
stay safe, and stay healthy. All right, break's over. Let's make something.